Hello, it's Mad Science Channel, and today we will feed the hungry locusts with the real heart. Interested? Let's go then. You see five boxes on a table. Each of them contains 20 forage locusts. This name is due to the fact that it is specially bred for feeding various insectivores. At the same time, the locust itself is rather gluttonous. When we film the first is about these insects, they easily ate even just such a nylon mesh. Moreover, in one of the episodes, the locusts with gusto ate the articular turf of the insectarium, in which the filming was carried out. It is safe to say that locusts can eat almost everything. Today we will test this in practice, suggesting that insects try eat a real pork heart. In advance, we bought two pig hearts in a nearby supermarket. Since they are used in cooking, it was not difficult to find them on sale. We decided to somewhat diversify our experiment by giving the locusts a choice of two treats at once. We placed one row hard and boiled the other one in water without salt. I wonder which one the locusts will like the most. By the way, have you ever tasted a boiled heart? If any of you know how to cook it correctly, write a recipe in the comments. What surprised us was the low price of pork hearts in the supermarket. Perhaps they are not delicacy at all but are considered an ordinary common product. After all, otherwise, the price would definitely be much higher. As we said earlier, we have a total of 5 locust boxes, each of which contains 20 insects. It turns out that 100 locust specimens will take part in the experiment at once. The only question is how hungry the locusts are at the moment. In previous season, insects with abetted ate literally everything that looked even a little edible. They ate even the artificial covering of the insectarium. To begin with, we decided to place 20 locust specimens in the insectarium, inviting them to taste a piece of raw and boiled heart. It seemed to us that the insect did not show any interest at all. But later, one individual still decided to taste the heart. It can be assumed that our experiment will still not fail. It is possible that locusts still do not mind eating raw meat. We will find it out very soon. Now we will place all 100 locusts in the insectarium. Notice how they are located inside, literally clung to the boiled heart. In such cas, it is extremely problematic to trace which insects taste this or that hard. Which one you think the locusts will eat faster? Pause the video and write your answer in the comments. In the meantime, we continue our observations. In some moments, it is clearly visible that insects really eat a pork heart. You can also see distinct bite marks. This is extremely unusual to watch, especially considering that locusts prefer to eat plant foods. On the other hand, these are extremely voracious insects, which once again confirmed their reputation. I wonder if a huge amount of hungry locusts could even eat a human. Do you think this is real? Write your opinion in the comments. We decided to leave the locusts in the insectarium overnight. When we returned after 8 hours, we found the following picture. The outwardly boiled heart is practically untouched. But the raw pork heart is noticeable eating. Why did the locusts choose it over boiled one? We assume that the reason is the presence of more fluid in the raw heart. As a result, the locusts also used it as a source of drinking water. Along the way, we noticed that locust activity has significantly decreased. If at the beginning of the experiment we were afraid to open the lid of the insectarium, since a large number of insects immediately strove to jump out of it, now the locust is behaving calmly. 
The insects practically did not react in any way, even when we took out the hearts from the insectarium in order to examine them in more detail. This is how the pork heart looks like, the heart which the locusts try to eat. By the way, literally overnight some small flies have already appeared in the insectarium. Most likely it is a fruit fly. These small flies can be used as a food for newborn praying mantises. We also plan to shoot an issue about them soon. On closer inspection of the hearts, it is noticeable that the locust practically did not touch the boiled one. It turns out that a raw heart has some kind of alternative food suits than better. Among our pets, there is also a bit of the gamma. Since there are already a hundred locusts in the insectarium, we decided to continue our experiment and place a bit of the gamma in it. It is immediately noticeable that the latter is not at all happy with such a company. At the same time, under normal conditions, the bearded gamma easily eats such a large locust. Most likely, it's all about the number of insects. The gamma got scared and felt uncomfortable, so we immediately removed her from the insectarium. To prove that the bearded gamma can easily deal with locusts of this size, we show you what happens when a lizard is in an insectarium alone with a potential prey. As you can see, the size of the locust does not cause any problems. She easily swallows the insect. Moreover, locusts are a real delicacy for the gamma. It is even healthier than the Phobos larva, since the latter contains more fat. We took one of the locust species, which we placed in the insectarium. Its size is really impressive, about 4 or 5 centimeters. When we first fed the bearded gamma with such a locust, we could not even imagine that a lizard would be able to swallow it. It turned out that our fears were in vain. Later we give the gamma locust and the phobos larva at the same time. The result is obvious. That's all for today. If you were interested, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the videos with your friends and press the bell, so as not to miss new episodes. It was Science Channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.